welcome back to my channel i'm just sitting down putting on a bit of makeup because i'm heading out for the evening and um figured i may as well come and do a little chit chat with you so as you guys know i am an entrepreneur a creator i run a couple of businesses and i quit my full-time corporate job i think it was seven years ago six or seven years ago maybe six it's been a while i'd have to go back and look you know these covid years kind of are a blur and because of that i get asked a lot about tips on building a business very very often it's one of my most asked about questions and i do actually have a book about it um, if you're interested i did write a book because of the fact that i get asked about it so often so you can check it out on my website i have a few hard copies left not much the hard copy is um, $9.99, but you can pick up the ebook, which is, I think, $2.99. Nowadays, it seems like everybody has a course or a book or some sort of advice on building a business, building a brand, building a YouTube channel. Everybody and their mom has some sort of template on how to do it. But I have noticed one thing about all of these workshops and courses that are out about building a brand and building a a business is that they all pretty much provide the same sort of steps the same sort of cookie cutter follow this route type thing not a lot of nuance is offered and I noticed that there's a few things that business owners are just not telling you so I figured let's come on and talk about that so number one one thing I noticed that business owners are not telling you is that failure is super common. I think a lot of these course owners are really pushing the idea that following a certain set of steps is almost like a surefire thing, but it's really not unusual to have to do something a few times before you find exactly what works for you. There's nothing wrong with taking the general steps um, and the general idea of what other people are doing in order to help you build your brand or your business. However, it is a process. You definitely need to figure out what works for you and what works for your clientele or your customer base. And that might take a while. I don't say that to discourage any of you. I say that to set realistic expectations for you. In this era of TikToks and Instagram Reels and YouTube Shorts, everything is done like but the steps and the work and the sweat and the blood and the tears are not really shown. And so, so I think it's okay to have a reminder that failure is okay. It's okay to start over. It's okay to go back to the drawing board. Comparison really is the thief of joy because social media will have you out here thinking that everybody is perfect and everybody got it right on their first try and that is simply not the case. Most brand owners and entrepreneurs will come on here and talk about their successes and their accomplishments, but they're definitely not as forthcoming about their failures. So starting a business can be a risky venture and failure is honestly a natural part of that process. The other thing that a lot of um, influencers don't talk about in relation to business is the importance of mental health. Now I am glad that mental health um, and self-care is getting a lot more shine. I just find a lot of people don't talk about the fact that running a business can be extremely stressful. And that in itself can have a huge toll on you know, a business owner's mental health. It's nice to work for yourself, but it's not all fun and games. It can be extremely challenging and it's okay to ask for help, that's key. So feelings of being overwhelmed are completely normal. Feelings of wanting to give up can be completely normal. You're not alone. Everybody is struggling, not just you, even though social media will try to make you believe otherwise. It's important to have that support system, whether you're a sole proprietor or not. That does apply to my case. I don't have employees or a shared workspace. It's just me. And that can be very isolating particularly if you're not a service-based business. If you're a product-based business like myself, you literally can go weeks without, <laughs> without human contact. I create at home, I produce at home, I edit at home, I run my communications at home. Work-life balance is really important whether you have a nine to five or not. 
So force yourself to take time off, even though you work for yourself. Force yourself to go outside and get fresh air, even though you're an introvert, even though you work from home. Force yourself to communicate with your friends and family, even though you are tired, even though you may be a workaholic. Force yourself to maintain that support system that you have in your life. Maintain your friendships. Maintain your familial relationships. Get fresh air. Get sunlight, especially as black people in the winter. Get that vitamin D. Open up your windows. Let the fresh air in. Really just remember to take care of yourself, even if you have to pencil it in. That's personally something I have to remind myself on a regular because those dark feelings, those feelings of... Um, anxiety and depression can really creep in, especially during the dark winter months, which thankfully we're, it feels like we're on the other end of now. The last thing and most important that I find that business owners aren't telling you is that success is not a one size fits all. So again, do not compare yourself. You really just have to decide what success looks like and means for you. Social media will have you thinking one thing and people will also try to push their um, definition of success onto you. Whether it's friends, family, followers, unintentionally or intentionally, it's going to happen. So having a successful YouTube channel does not mean having million dollar brand deals. It can mean that for some people, but it doesn't have to mean that for you. Having a successful hair care line does not mean your products are available in Target. It can mean that for some people, but it doesn't have to mean that for you. The amount of hard work and sacrifice required to start and run a business, it takes a lot of work, long hours, personal sacrifice. A lot of brand owners today, I find, make it look easy and glamorous when it's really not. Rewarding, yes. Easy and glamorous, I don't think so. So I honestly would actually suggest looking at what a successful day looks like to you, more so than what a successful business or brand looks like to you. While having a multi-million dollar business sounds amazing, do you want to run a multi-million dollar brand? Like what does your day, ideal day look like? Are you somebody who gets up at the ass crack of dawn every morning to go to the gym and take care of yourself before you have your 7 a.m. meetings? Are you somebody who wants employees? Do you wanna be responsible for other people's livelihoods? Or would you rather it just be you and one other employee or just you on your own? While having, you know, products available in Target and Walmart sounds amazing, do you want to have to manage a warehouse or would you rather walk downstairs and be able to count your inventory yourself? Having a million subscribers also sounds amazing, but do you want to be managed? Do you want to be under management? Do you want to be on brand's deadlines? Or are you happy having full control of your image and your content? In my case, a good example for me would have been the staging thing that, you know, everybody encouraged me to do, which I love. I love that you guys believe in me so much, but I had to remember what my idea of success was and what my ideal day looks like. And it just didn't include that. I enjoyed it for the time that I had it, but I had to remind myself um, that at the end of the day, I'm running my business for me. I'm building a business and brand and life that I enjoy and that I love and that I can be proud of. And that's exactly what you should do as well. Those are my biggest pieces of advice and biggest takeaways of really being able to run your idea of a successful business. I hope that you guys found this helpful. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.